about coming across the raging torrent of the Mara River. Let's follow them. Oh, this is looking very, very strong. Oh, dear. What is this thing flapping over here? There's something flapping over there. It's a crocodile. Is it? No, it's a bird. It's a hardy dart ibis, different kind of ibis from the one we saw earlier. Let's keep moving across. Now, this is good crossing country or good crossing area for animals because they can reach the bottom. And that means that they can push off if a crocodile attacks them. But at the same time, crocodiles can hide in amongst... Sorry, there's a fly attacking me. Uh, crocodiles can hide <laughs> in amongst the rocks there. And they look like rocks when they stick their heads out of the water. Let's see what the rest of these topi are thinking about doing now. Oh, the leader is very nervous. And you can see that it takes a long time for them to build up the courage to go across the river. You can see they want to cross. They want to go across the river, but will they go across the river? They know there's danger there. And you know, we're not really sure why it is that they want to cross the river. There's lots of grass on that side where they are. And even though they might cross it once, if there was a lot more grass on this side, you know they'll do it again and again throughout the season. But a topi crossing is not a crossing I've ever seen before. I've only seen wildebeest and zebra crossing the river, not so much the topi. And a topi on land is, well, very lucky because they're very, very fast. They run very quickly indeed. They're the fastest antelope in Africa. I just killed the fly, you'll be happy to know. And the topi there seem to be absconding now. That means they're going away. Let's just darken it a little bit. I know we can't see that anything properly there now. Anyway, let's keep going. Now you can see on the side of the bank there underneath the topi there are a whole lot of bones. So something has been killed there. That was probably lions. Now Creature Conservancy, you say how often do crocodiles what was that? How often do they catch animals? Uh, how often do, they, do we see it? Uh, we see it pretty often, you know. If the animals cross here, it's highly likely that we would see a crocodile catching one of them. There come the zebra. Now, the zebras really do like to cross the river, so we'll follow them quite closely. You see, something like this can go on for hours before they decide that the time is right. Let's go down a little bit. Sorry about that. Not sure why that happened. There we go. Just finding the focus again. It's all very clever, these cameras, you know. They do this all automatically. Sometimes they're not very clever, though. Now, this kind of thing, they'll stand here hours sometimes. Sometimes it just runs straight in, sometimes it takes a long time. Now there's a very special pride of lions that lives around this area called the Paradise Pla Plains Pride. It's always difficult to say Paradise Plains, I don't know why. And they like to sit on the banks of the river here. And what they do is they catch exhausted or very tired animals that come across the river and they think they've escaped the crocodiles and then the lions grab them. But there are obviously no lions here, but I suspect the bones that are on the side of the river that we saw there, I think they belong to the Paradise Pride. All righty, let us keep watching here. Uh, we're going to just find out what's going on and see if they don't cross. While we do that, I want to go back to South Africa with you to smell what is my very favorite smell of the winter. <laughs> 